What's up, rabbies? Hi, rabbits. It's the lady rabbies. We have separated the boys from the girls. So the ladies get this nice little kingdom of theirs. Uh, it's got a bunch of stray bedding and everything that's in it, and they're just happy. That's mama right there, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell anymore because they're all getting big. Right. Yeah, that's her. Hi, babies. So cute. They're so cute. So we have nine rabbits. We have the mom, four girls, two boys, our buck, Peppy, and then the other one who was not a good mother. Does Reject that add up mama. to nine? I think so. <laughs> was that nine? <laughs> we have nine. There may be some adjustments in there somewhere. Uh, but these little babies were born back in, I think it was like the end of February because it was after Valentine's Day. And they grew up, but they still love us. They remember us because we, uh, she birthed them in our home. We made her comfortable, made sure they were warm and taken care of. And she was the best mom ever. Not this one, the mom's in there. But yeah, the babies still love us. So we cuddle them and snuggle them. <laughs> you got a leg on the loose there, sister. You got a leg out. <laughs> <laughs> and then so we brought this pen back in the backyard, which was, this was the old chicken tractor that we had for the meat chickens, but now that we don't no longer have that, uh, we put it in here for the rabbits, which they are hanging out back there. I don't think you can see them. With the boys. Oh, there's one of them. Hi, buddy. So the other gray one. I always like the gray ones for yeah, some reason. They seem I'd... the sweetest. Yeah. The white one's back here. <laughs> so we keep all of our rabbits right outside our back door in the shade. There's a big shade tree. Hopefully mm. you can see it. Um, but they're all under that and it gives them all shade. Rabbits do not like to be too hot. They can't overheat and die. Um, so they have that and then, you know, obviously cold water every day. And sometimes we get them water bottles, frozen water bottles, yep. if it's too hot out and they lay on them because they don't like to be wet but they like to lay against them because it cools them off. Right, exactly. And you just gotta watch out for that stuff, um, especially if you wanna keep them. So the reason we keep rabbits, um, one, we sell them, uh, the babies, just for anybody that wants them. But the main piece that we do it is for their, their uh, fertilizer. Yeah, their poop is gold for the yeah. garden. And White will tell you they have golden nugget poop. Golden nugget <laughs> poop. So we uh, put it straight into our garden. Um, we use it as compost. Uh, we really ramp it up in the winter time. Uh, just because it does have a lot of straw and stuff that's kind of mixed in with it right now because of how we have it set up. Yeah. Uh, so we usually wait till the gardens are kind of empty and then we just load it full. Yeah. Um, but it's great. And they're good so little pets. So. They're fun. The kids like yeah. them, love to pet them and hold them. Yeah. And the best thing, like how she was holding that rabbit, most all of ours are like that besides really reject mama. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, and that's because we handle, handle them a lot. Um, and so if you have a rabbit that's just being kicks you in, doesn't really want to do anything with it, just keep, keep fighting it out. Yeah. Uh, they'll get better. They'll get more used to you. Uh, and just watch their ears. Yeah. Usually if they're peeled back, they're a little nervous. Uh, try not to make any jump movements yeah. uh, because they can't have little heart attacks yeah. uh, if they get spooked too bad, too fast. Uh, but yeah, rabbits are pretty cool. They're, they're very <laughs> simple to take care of. You just got to clean their pans, but you get to put it right in the garden. Yeah. They're not meat rabbits though, for anyone that's asked. We don't yeah. eat them. Um, we've never had anybody eat them that we sold them to. We've always sold two, so. <laughs> did we even sell them? No, it was just a giveaway. giveaway. <laughs> uh, but we did try to sell these babies here locally and it didn't hit on anywhere, yeah. but we'll see. They're fine. No more breeding though right now. Yeah. That's why we have them yeah. separated until we can move some. Yeah. <laughs> She's off. We're headed to the back backyard to show you some changes that happened. All right, so where we are headed is by the pond area. So you can kind of see the pond, the tree house that we have. Um, that we built not too long ago. If you're new, we do have a tree house. Yeah, um, we built it for the kids. Uh, early spring, you know, I guess it's still probably technically winter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they lo love that. It's an awesome little getaway. A lot of fun. Yeah. But right now it's a little hot in there. Too hot in there. <laughs> not too, too bad, but yeah. right now oh, there. I don't think we've ever shown them this. Oh, we haven't, have we? Yeah. So a really good friend of mine gave me some horseradish root from her own garden. And we put it out here in the back um, because it will go crazy. So we put it by itself and it's coming up and I'm excited to use it. Um, I haven't learned a whole, whole lot about it, but it takes a while for it to, it to get established and hopefully it does well here in Kentucky, it should. Um, but yeah, that's another piece of our garden that's kind of exciting. I could never find a horseradish root in the stores. So finally got some of my own. <laughs> All right, look at there. There's a camper in our back backyard. Yep, yeah, we've got a little old campground going on. 
Uh, so, Gray Beard and Gram uh, Grammy Karen. I keep wanting to say Grammy Cantrell for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Grammy Karen uh, was, they got their camper back here, and it's just kind of like the getaway. They only live right down the road from us. But on the weekends, it'll be nice because they can just kind of camp out back here. Yep, Ellie loves it back here. She does. She tries to come back here without us for a while later. <laughs> so, it's kind of nice on the compound having uh, more and more people here that don't have to leave. Yeah. Um, and we can just all have a really good time on the weekends and it's been a lot of fun we just had this past memorial day and they hung out quite a bit in here which he didn't get it up here till what sunday yeah. uh sunday evening so we didn't have a whole lot of time to use it but now we got all kinds of weekends in our future of hanging nice. out back here fun. really well what's up you stinking charlie what's up dude i know it ah see me and him get along Hi, don't baby. shock yourself Hi, baby you been eating minerals, your mouth's red. That's good. <laughs> I see we knocked it over too. Yep. Hi, baby. So Greybeard also got some rock back here. Really, the main purpose was to get it uh, over in that back spot, the camper. But our pond leaks, and it leaks right here. Um, and so it just stays muddy. It would never dry up enough uh, for them to get it back. So we got some rock in here. And we're thinking about continuing it on to our driveway. Because there's really just a small gap until you actually get to the driveway. So that might be nice to have. Y'all ever just had the worst encounter with something in your entire life that just really threw you from it and you never wanted to do it again? Yeah, we did too. And then these two little pigs have gotten us back on the pig train. They are the best stinking things ever. That's right, Boots. I'm talking about you in pieces. What do you think about it, boy? They're our best animals. Straight up. We've had them, what, a month and a half now? I think so. And they haven't challenged a single thing at all on the fence. We live here. Yeah. Hi, hi guineas. <laughs> Still my favorite animal. Um, but, Let me shut her in here. Okay. But we have had them for about a month and a half, and they have just been absolutely awesome animals. They haven't tried to get out of the fences. Um, they haven't bothered us. They don't even really smell. No. Which, our no. last goats. Whew. Pigs. Uh, yeah, pigs, sorry. Getting, when you get so many, have start having so many animals, they just start all blending together. But they, I mean, they don't really smell at all, which they have a very big area. They've almost got 200, uh, 200 foot of fencing uh, to enjoy, and it's all in the shade. But they're so chill and calm. I love them. So we have Cooney Coon pigs. That's how we say it, right? Cooney Coonies. Cooney Coonies. Um, and they are just an awesome breed. Yeah. So if you're interested in pigs, we've only had these in Yorkshires. Absolutely do not get Yorkshires, but Cooney Coonies are... A-OK -okay in our book. Yeah. I had to put Ellie up because she's not allowed to go down to the goats, the yeah. girl goats, because the other dogs get super jealous when they can see her right. and they're not with us. They're like, why is she out and yeah. us not out? <laughs> Verdict is, they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie behaves herself. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Unless there's food around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we tried something. Yep. And it didn't work. Total fail. Total fail. It's okay, though, because it gave us a little break for Memorial Day weekend. It did. I wasn't too upset about yeah. that. Um, but we moved the babies back with the mamas. So we had the babies separated from Butters um, at three months old because it was time for them to be weaned. Which, if you're new, Butters is the goat that we milked. Yes. She had two offspring, Jackie and uh, Callie. Callie. Yeah. Oh, I'm Chloe, sorry. <laughs> um, we decided to put them back together because it's been like three months and we thought, well, you know, let's just have everyone together so they can all have the same amount of space right. and Dolly can protect them all instead of having different um, fences. Right, and the adults got like 400 foot of yeah. fence and the babies only had 100 foot. Yeah. Uh, just because we just tried to break them off. Yeah. But yeah, so. So they're seven months old now. Now, we opened up the gate a little and let them get together and they went right to her so they are not weaned after yeah. all this time so like we said it did work out for Memorial Day weekend because we didn't have to milk at 8 and 8 every single day we got a little bit of a break and I truly believe in the babies stimulating her to release more milk telling her body that she needs to continue to milk right um, because they will only milk for a year so we're at seven months yeah. she's still got time left to milk but I, I wanted her body to get that feeling of them and tell her okay we still need to produce milk right and we were getting about a quarter and a quarter yeah so about a quart, quart, a quarter. Yeah, a quart <laughs> full and then another quarter of milk. And uh, it was starting to get to where we was barely getting a quart. Yeah. Uh, so that's when I was like, eh, she might be going down anyway. So it was a win 
the boss. Yeah. So win-win uh, for the fact that she uh, now has a little bit more milk in her, and now we got to separate them. Yeah, again. yeah. It's easy though. We just pull the gate right back, and every time she says that though, <laughs> just got to pull the gate right back. <laughs> now we just got to make sure, like the, because we have three Nigerian dwarf babies that yeah. are weaned, and two mini Nubians, which are butters. Um, to all get over there and keep all the adults on this side. Yep. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's try this out. I think you're already on the wrong side. <laughs> so I'm going to try to persuade them with food. It usually works. Yeah, but they're all going to go into one pile. And the thing is, the babies don't like me. Right. The adults do. They've never quite warmed up to us. So Probably I'm thinking, because we uh, switch them around too much. Hey, hey, hey. Should I put the food over on the baby side or the adult side? Adult side. And then try to work the babies over? Okay, Elsa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Too many goats. Too many goats. <laughs> Just kidding. There's not a such thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, the fence was that easy. He just had to put the little piece back. There you go, one baby. There's Callie. <laughs> Who's next? We'll see. Whoever. Oh, they're on to me. Yep, they've caught on. All right, Dobby. Okay. Oh, oh well, there you that go. That kind of worked. Well, it's off, so yeah. I didn't get hurt. <laughs> worked out well. Don't get no Two left? Yeah, can you throw some feed just over there? One to go. For the pennies, babies. Her name's Angel. She's not being quite no. the angel at the moment. No. Oh, goodness. It's hot. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. All right. See, easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> I think Butters is saying thank you. <laughs> She's a great don't mind mom, that butters. but they drive her crazy. They stand on her. They're all the time nursing. She's just kind of over it at this point. Y'all my ladies. <laughs> all right, oh, you're the only one, Penny. We'll get there, girl. <laughs> so this is where their pen is, and this is where both their little barns are. And then their fence goes all the way, almost all the way down to the double wide down there, which is my mother-in-law's trailer, um, Zach's mom. And it goes halfway down her backyard. So they get all that lush green grass to eat and they absolutely love it. They have so much room to run and Dolly too. Cause she doesn't like to be cooped up, who would? But they're good little babies. Hi Dolly. <laughs> okay, and before we go, if you're interested now, it's just three boys, however, I've got three weathers, so all three black ones. So the one with horns right here, that's Jackie. He's a mini Nubian, he's a weather. And then that one right there that just ran out, that's a Nigerian dwarf. And then the black and white one right there is a Nigerian dwarf weather. They're for sale if anybody's interested. We already have uh, weathers with our bucks and we do not need any more. So right now we're just feeding weathers. Um, which we love them, they're great goats. But if you're interested, I let us know. Buddy. That fence is on. <laughs> Jen turned the fence back on at it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> She's done that to me one too many times. I just said, I said, is the fence on? And he said, no. I said, well, it needs to be. I didn't, hear the, I didn't hear the needs to be part. Got me right on the daggone hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, anyways, those three weathers are for sale if you're interested. Let me know. Like I said, they're weathers. Um, they're not going to be expensive. Um, if you're so looking for either a companion for a buck, a companion for a girl that you don't want bred, or just a lawnmower. Um, well, definitely a lawnmower because yeah. that's what they're great for is lawnmowers. Also, Weathers really don't have any complications. They're, they're right. not bugs, so they don't have that part. Yeah. And they're not females, so they don't have those parts. So they really just kind of hang out. So if you're also just interested in learning about goats, a yeah. weather would be a good one to have. Um, but yeah, they're great for lawnmowers. And so. they're Nigerian dwarfs, so they're not going to well, get much bigger two than are, that. Two are Nigerian dwarfs. Yeah. Jackie well, he's a mini Nubian, so he's yeah. not going to get big either. So if you just have a small backyard right. that you're looking to get mowed by some goats, 
they would be perfect for you. Yeah, so message us yeah. if you're interested, but <laughs> ouch. Ouch. <laughs> You'll be right. I'll be right. Grab some dirt on it. Yeah. My heart's just gonna, <laughs> the amount of times I've electrocuted myself on these oh things. Oh my gosh. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> the tilled garden is finally trying to dry a little. Man, we have had a hard time drying. But I wanted to show you all one thing about the squash. See how these plants are starting to wilt down? Or they look like they're wilted down? There's nothing wrong with this plant. It could lay on the dirt and there's still nothing wrong with the plant. This is one of the most common questions we get about zucchini, squash, any kind of squash family plant. In the heat of the day, they wilt down like that quite often. Um, especially if the ground's wet like it is right now. Now they, they might change up once they get a little bit more accommodated to it. But if, they, if your zucchini and squash is looking wilted like those that I just showed you, they're perfectly fine. I guarantee you by the afternoon when the sun starts setting, they'll pop right back up and they'll be fine again tomorrow. Um, they just get kind of drugged down like we do in the heat of the day um, and they're kind of limp. So they'll perk right back up. Don't stress about it. Don't do too much about it. Don't go over fertilize. Well, you can't really over, over fertilize if you're using organic. Um, but don't try doing a bunch of stuff um, because I promise you, squash plants are resilient. They will make it, I promise you. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to address that because we had been getting a lot of questions. If they're starting to look like they're even about to die, I promise you tomorrow's a new day with squash and they'll look like nothing ever happened. Whew. Now we're back in the shade. It's hot. <laughs> Man, it is. Okay, you come out here and it doesn't feel that bad, but as soon as you start moving around or the wind stops, it just starts pouring sweat, it even really if you're does. not physically working. <clears throat> so here in Kentucky, we know like it's the end of May. Um, it's getting warm, but our average is like 80-ish. Yeah. Sometimes in the 70s, really, at this time. We usually don't hit like the upper 80s till late July, yeah. August, maybe. Yeah. Um, usually we barely see 90 degree days uh, around here, and it's 87 yeah. with like an 80% uh, humidity, humidity level. And we have humidity, but not nothing like the south, right. like the lower south. But lately, the humidity is killer. I mean, yeah. it's just. Man, wet. Well, right, and we've had a lot of rain, um, followed by immediate sunshine. So that's a lot to do with the humidity. And we're not complaining. I'm not, at least. I know yeah. she might be a little bit because she likes I'm winter. A, I think I'm handling it well this you summer. You are. Well, it just started. I'm handling it. <laughs> uh, I love the I mean, summer. I went with you to the fee today. Yeah, that's usually yeah. something I wouldn't do because it was flipping hot. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> we love the summer. I do. Um, I can't stand winter whatsoever. Yeah. Like the, the single ounce of chilliness kills me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm very happy with it. I'll take the sweat all day. But yeah. goats. Man. Well, I was quickly going to say, if you were with us last summer, you know that our AC did not pump cool air into our house whatsoever, right. only if you were right in front of it. So we did get a new one this year, and it, our house is like frigid. I can't even sit on the couch anymore because it's so cold. Yeah. So having that, like knowing it's really, really hot outside, and knowing that you can step in there and cool off real quick is a whole lot nicer yeah. than last summer. That's a very good point. Yeah, that old AC, it was a 220. Um, but it was like 30 years old yeah. um, and so it did the best it could. So we upgraded a new 220 and it's, <laughs> wow, yeah. it's like central air in the window unit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, goats, man, I have really fallen in love with them. Yeah. He didn't want them. I didn't want them at all. And a lot of you all, a lot of followers that say, man, I want goats so bad my husband just doesn't understand the purpose of them. I was right there in that same <laughs> boat. I was like, what is a goat good for? I have no idea what they're good for. Um, my mind's been blown. Um, they're amazing, especially dairy. I love mm -hmm. that we have dairy goats. Um, their milk is amazing. Yeah. A lot of people have never had it, and you have a mindset of what you think it's gonna taste like. You think it's gonna taste goaty. Even though you haven't had anything with a goat, you don't even know what a goat tastes like. But everybody says it tastes goaty. Yeah. Um, it does not. It tastes just like. And it's so cold and so fresh. It is. It tastes just like cow's milk. Um, and it is so good yeah. and the butter and the cheese and the lotions and the soaps and all the other stuff Jen makes is just amazing. That's I love it. Great lawnmowers. Great My mother-in-law no longer has to mow that part of her yard which took yeah. her like four hours on a Sunday. Right. So it's a whole lot easier and they get all your underbrush. They can take care of a messy yard in no time. Yeah a lot of people ask is sheep or goat? So sheeps are your grass eaters. They like yeah. to just graze and eat grass. Goats eat the grass too, but they also like to eat brush and clear out Bons brush. Vines and blackberries, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, so if you have an area needing to clear out, that's what we did back there where that camper was and all the stuff we just showed you. 
the boy goats all last summer killed, cleaned all of that out yeah. we couldn't even walk through it um, but we would let them have it and then we'd come through with the chainsaw and get all the little vines uh, cut out of there yeah they're just they're fantastic animals and they're so. also great companions little pets too they are they're just really friendly really loving like dogs you yeah. know they're very loyal they know what time of day it is when it's feeding time when it's milking time when it's just petting time they always know yeah <laughs> and i know bambi had a bad ending but <laughs> but if you can imagine actual bambi yeah in your yard that's like what Basically. goats are they're like baby baby deer that never yeah. turn into like the full big old deers yeah so if you're uh, one of those people and your husband's saying no make him watch this video. make him watch this video <laughs> and from a husband that was completely against goats yeah. i'm telling you i'll love them now they're yeah. great um and as long as you have the electrical netting has been perfect yeah. for us that we haven't had one goat escape um, we've had the fence actually fall down and they just stand in their pen because they respect it so yeah. don't fear the getting out you're going to hear everybody tell you if you don't jump on your car if it if it doesn't hold water it won't hold a goat yeah. We're, I'm telling you, it's not true. Yeah. Um, it, that might be specific breeds, but we have Nubian Alpines. I think they call them new pines. Yeah. Um, we have straight Nubians, and we have Nigerian dwarfs. So we've got quite a variety yeah. of breeds, and all of them have been great. Yeah, premier one fencing for the win. Yes, absolutely. I, I, not to say I'm permanent fencing. I'm sure they do climb and they can get out, but with ours, it's been great. Yeah. But as we stare back at that camper and the life we've created on this hillside, you know, we talk about it a lot. Obviously, we're very proud of it, um, and we strive everyone to try to get to that point um, and continue to learn. But we've realized we no longer need vacation. Yeah. We've created vacation. We've created the life that we don't want a vacation from, yeah. which was a huge goal of mine for a long time. I, we love to go camping. We love to be out in nature. And this year, we have officially created that here to the point where we don't feel the need to escape and be somewhere different and be away even with the chores and all the responsibilities we still at the end of the day are so happy to be here yeah. we call it our little campground we have the pond and our hammocks and the pool the hot tub tree house the gardens i mean it's just a beautiful beautiful area and we want you all to do the same a lot of you have already created that life many many yeah. years ago and you're still living it and it's just a real blessing to have that that's exactly right and times like this with the corn and stuff even more purpose to create first grow your own food have your own animals and create a space that you yes. don't want to leave yeah because if there's a time that you can't leave you want it to be enjoyable yeah so continue to work towards that don't think anything's impossible and get your goats yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah we hope you enjoyed today's video thank goodness the moving the babies was not too difficult uh, but I, we're never gonna have to put them back in I mean yeah. I don't know what's up they're gonna have to be full-blown adults before they meet it back in there um, besides being shocked by Jen, so that was the only mishap. I think my heart pulsing a little bit. <laughs> no, just kidding. The shocks aren't that bad. They're enough to, like, make you ah. <laughs> They don't hurt. Yeah. Um, but that's it for this one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to su subscribe down below. Yeah, I think we're going to hop in the pool and yes. cool off a little bit. Maybe we'll throw some uh, white GoPro footage in at the end. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. <laughs> Maybe it's time for us to start our vacation now. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, we love you. We love you. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.